I have done things in the last few years that nearly ruined my life. And it was because I believed certain lies I thought were the truth. For example, I always thought people were against me and they never wanted the best for me until I realized that I was the one who kept thinking these thoughts and making the assumptions. Correcting these kinds of thoughts changed my relationship with others and myself for good. As little children, we are innocent. As a result, we innocently believe some lies that soon grow up with us. For most, they discipline themselves to change and drop these lies along the way. However, for others, they allow these lies to continue with them until they grow too accustomed to them to ever let them go. If you believe any of these three lies, it is high time you know how destructive they are to your destiny and drop them. 1. How you live doesn't matter. For a long time, I thought I was playing smart going to bed as late as 11 p.m. and waking up at 2 a.m. to start working. I had learned that successful people worked hard and I thought by living this way, I was working hard and preparing myself for a great future. Until insomnia hit me for almost two years and I nearly died. Years later, this lifestyle has seriously affected my sleep pattern, though it's better now, and mental productivity. Back then, if anyone told me he slept eight hours daily, I would say he was lazy. This may not be your own destructive lifestyle. As a young person, there are so many destructive lifestyles you may have embraced, thinking there won't be repercussions now or in the future. Most have ruined their health by what they eat. You may think regular exercise doesn't matter. I thought so too. Until living a sedentary life nearly shot my blood pressure through the roof. You may think to indulge in pornography and illicit sex is fun until you find out you're psychologically incapable of achieving much or you're dealing with some deadly STIs. What are other destructive habits you may be indulged in right now? Give them up for your future is good. People don't know how much they would lose living wrongly until the consequences of their actions hit them. 2. You don't reap what you sow. This is yet another lie most young people believe. They may say they know this, but by their actions, they don't believe it. I know someone who lost a good contract because he thought he was smart. He overcharged my uncle for a project and cheated him, thinking my uncle didn't know how much it cost to execute that project. The next time my uncle had a bigger contract that would help him, he didn't bother calling the man. Back in high school, I knew colleagues who were in the same class as me. We often were afraid of them because they were bullies. They fought and terrorized most of the students, and everyone respected them. They skipped classes, never dressed properly, always cheated during examinations, and were always causing trouble. Years later, I saw a couple of them living lives that I just can't imagine for even my enemies. They are reaping what they sowed. The biblical law stays the same. What you sow is what you reap. What you don't give, you will never get. For so many years, I would pray and pray but never study for examinations, thinking only prayers would give me examination success. Each time I did that, I failed woefully. Then, I would blame God or sometimes myself for not passing. It took me years to later learn that if I didn't study, why should I pass my examination? If I don't sow in tears, why should I expect to reap in joy? 3. What you believe doesn't count. Once I was struggling with the wrong self-image, I blamed everyone for my failures and imagined I could have my life better if I hadn't found myself around them. Until I realized, you are what you allow. A man is a product of his belief system, and you will never rise above your belief. A man's belief is what directs his behavior. For example, your belief about money health, relationships, etc. is what is right now directing your attitude towards all of it, which is ultimately determining your result in those areas. Unless your belief changes, your situation remains the same. T. Harv Ecker, the author of The Secrets of a Millionaire Mindset, opined that everything is a result, not an end. Money is a result of your mindset. How much money you will have or won't have isn't based on how hard you work, but on your mindset about money, you may work very hard till kingdom come. If your mindset about money is terrible, you will keep wondering why you aren't rich. You can never rise above your belief system. This is why you must continuously put a check to your belief system to be sure you believe rightly. Your belief system may have been wrongly affected by your environment and upbringing, yet you can change them by choosing to. 
I have found that the best way to rebuild your belief system and to have a better mindset is to read great books. My favorite is the Bible. Besides other great books, when you get in tune with great minds, through books and helpful videos and audios, you will start to experience a mental shift that will help you believe the right things that will shape your destiny. I know there are tons of lies young people believe, lies that will keep messing up your chances for success. But if you begin to observe those lies stated above and you deal with them, you will start to experience the kind of change in your life you never expected. How you live matters. Start taking your dreams seriously. It greatly affects your life's success. Start taking your health seriously. It greatly impacts how much you enjoy your success. Start doing all that you know is right to do so that you can find your life in a better place tomorrow. Never forget that what you sow is what you reap. So start to do your best now so you can make tomorrow better for you. Believe the best about yourself. Believe the best about your future. Read great books and follow great minds to keep improving yourself. If your future will ever be great, it all lies in what you do. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.